that in the millennium the cup final won't be played here. There will be one year when it has to go elsewhere while the new Wembley is completed. Once upon a time, this was the one live game on the telly all year. And we milked it for all it was worth. The build-up went on for hours. Everyone caught cup final fever. Jim will fix it live from Wembley. Dear Jimmy Savile, please could you fix it for me to visit the Tottenham Hotspur team? All right. Good. Have you enjoyed the day? Yes. Been very good for you? Yes. Good. And are you, are you going to go to the cup final? Incisive questioning as ever from Garth, who went on to score one of Wembley's greatest ever goals, sort of. Go on, Garth, kick it. In the endless build-up, we had access all areas, probably seeing rather more of the players and managers than we wanted to see. Messy bedrooms, players in bed together, managers in the berthing position. Quick change of formation in Tommy's boxer shorts here. Managers with fat cigars, managers with silly hats, and tender moments all round. Big Ron unafraid to clip a hard man round the ear. And the great Bill Shankly apparently operated by a team of puppeteers. It's easy to laugh at fashions from years gone by, and we will. But there was a new low in 96, with this famous effort from Liverpool. Special mention to this true romantic and to Spurs for just not bothering. Note Gazza's slippers. Now behave yourself, lads, please. We can hardly hear ourselves. Very, very rare footage of the great Des Lynham flustered. Presenters were forced right out of their comfort zones. I see somebody standing up. If you just move your feet, I'll still have a microphone. Oh, I do wish Liverpool were in the cup final, I'll tell you. What kind of money are they asking for tickets? Oh, it's extortionate. Yeah, about £8 for 12 and 6 and £10 for a seat. A member of the Liverpool 96 squad conducting the crowd. Frankie Vaughan risking a groin strain, Cliff Richard feeling the love and the chubby one from Spandau Ballet and the master. Nice to see you! To see you! Then to the game, a gentleman's game with gentlemen referees. Would you describe it as a bad foul or not? Oh, no, no, no. The man didn't intentionally knock him down. No one does that in a cup final, surely. Well, almost no one. The beautiful game took to a ploughed field in 1970. Even the commentators were tough guys in those days. Jones! No penalty. Play on. A fair effort to play the ball. 28 million people watch the replay, or fight night, as it should have been billed. The best cup final tackle, though, has to be this one. Not that one. This one. And a great tackle! No quarter, asked or given. A man-sized scar here on Nat Lofthouse's shoulder. Mick Jones in the early stages of mummification. But there was the odd ferociously tender moment. Well, you'd think that was his mother. No tongues, please. It could all just get too much. Roger Osborne for Ipswich. 78 was his moment. He scored, fainted, lost control of his bodily functions and had to be subbed. Joy can affect your motor skills. Clumsy. Whoops. Dad dancing seemed to be compulsory for victorious managers. And everyone, everyone seemed to be... Over the moon, really. I'm over the moon. I'm over the moon. A question, why did every interview take place in front of the kind of curtains you only otherwise ever saw at your nan's house or in a photo booth? And what was it with milk? After at least 90 minutes of running around, surely the last thing you'd want is a belly full of full fat. Spurs did things in more style, bubbly and the odd smoke. Let's forgive ourselves for getting carried away. It feels good to be back. Certainly does. Time now to introduce our panel alongside Alan Hansen and Alan Shearer. Warm welcome to Mark Hughes, Cup winner, of course, with both today's finalists. And a much more sensible haircut than we just saw. <laughs> that little piece. I think we can have just wrong. another little look at that one. We're not going to let you well, off. If there. you must, yeah. Look at that. Eh? That's stylish, Mark. Yeah. Young I'll man, take the mick out of my lap. <laughs> in the flush of youth. Yeah. The other, the other thing I noticed, we're, we're all sort of hemmed in, in these little tight chairs. Did you spot Jimmy Savile's chair? Have a look at that. Ah, that's uh, what you. Yeah. That, how do you get one of those? Do you have to write to him and get him to fix it? You've got to become a real broadcaster to get. <laughs> <laughs> There's no chance of anyone. <laughs> no, you're, you're always one. struggling.